your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Been a little bit of a noisy start to some of our Monday mornings as storms are pushing across the big country now 82 degrees still here in Abilene. Take a look on Skycam though, starting to shake around a little bit out there as this gust front starting to push in. We're going to see some strong wind gusts here now. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for much of the central big country. This includes Fisher, Jones, Shackelford County, also includes uh, down towards Callahan, Taylor, and Nolan County as well. So Sweetwater, Abilene, we're under this severe thunderstorm warning until 7:15 this morning. This says this line of thunderstorms pushed down to the south, now making their way to I. 20. Not seeing any rain here in Abilene quite yet, but we can see some 60 mile per hour wind gusts as this front pushes its way in. Could also see some uh, three quarter inch hail as this, as these storms make their way in too. heavy rainfall. So if you're headed out this Monday morning, be prepared. Some of those roads may be flooded on your way to work this morning. Also catching in on some of that dangerous lightning as these storms continue to make their way in. Zooming out just a little bit into more of the big country. We're seeing all of that rain north of I 20 at this hour. In fact, every county north of I 20 getting in on some of that rain right now. We're going to see that continue to push down to the south, that better chance for rain will continue to move south as we head into the afternoon, especially into the overnight tonight. But this is all part of a much larger cold front. It's starting to push down to the south as well, starting to make its way into Dallas Fort Worth. Now this morning brought some severe weather up into Oklahoma, now bringing some of that into our area this morning for your Monday. We're taking a look on future weather now. Once again, it's really not doing a very good job of picking up on these storms this morning. In fact, this is at seven and it's really underdoing and that's in about nine minutes and we just saw at radar that big difference there, so it'll be interesting to see how this changes as we head through the rest of the day, but I think it does a pretty good job on the cover is just not a very good job on the timing. This is noon and really what we're seeing right now, so we're still going to hang on to that chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm through the rest of your day today. As we head towards five o'clock, for the most part, things are going to quiet down just a little bit, but then as we head into the overnight tonight, we're going to have round two of showers and thunderstorms pop up. Some of these could be on the strongest severe side. We'll keep an eye on these as we head into the overnight and into early Tuesday morning. So for today, that better chance for rain is going to be mainly north of I-20, still hanging on to a 30% chance south of I-20, though. Once again, we could all see it's just a chance for showers and thunderstorms today. Tonight, that's going to increase, though, especially could see that in severity chance increase as well for the overnight into the southern big country, a 50% chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms down there. Highs today really going to depend on that front cloud cover and rain. All of that will keep us cooler if we see it, depending on timing. I think we're going to get to 91 here in Abilene, though most of us staying in those lower 90s, cooling off into the upper 60s tonight with that uh, potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms into the early out morning hours on Tuesday. And we're still going to hang on to a lingering shower chance through Tuesday afternoon as it keeps us in the upper for 80s tomorrow, back into the mid 90s though for the first part of August. And then it looks like we're going to stay in the mid and upper 90s as we head into the weekend. Joni. All right. Thank